was an unexpected surprise, and so I kind of feel like everything happened in an avalanche style. It kind of all happened to me rather than with me. Yeah, it wasn't this, you know, like romanticized birth. It was just, you know, it was very unglamorous. We got pregnant with our first daughter in 2002, and um, I was 32 years old about then. So I was actually a college senior and I had to make a choice on if I was gonna be a mother or a student and I made the choice on being a mother. The only reason why I didn't do the cord banking is because it was something that I'd kind of forgotten during the birth process. I did not hear a lot about it in the hospital, so that was kind of the disconnect. They don't really tell mothers a lot of things, you know, and the benefits that our placenta or our umbilical cord has. Now that I know all of the benefits of it, I'm like, okay, that should have been top of the list. <laughs> the stem cells from these babies, from the cord blood, can bring about regeneration of cells that normally would not be able to proliferate. There are really unlimited possibilities in the future. From what I've been reading, such things as infertility, hair loss, treating personal injuries. Cord blood banking is essentially where they're taking the cord blood and the stem cells out of the cord blood and banking it for you. You're paying a fee per month to um, store them and you can use those stem cells later on. My experience with it solely is from uh, um, in pain management as a radiologic technologist and we would do stem cell treatments um, for bone pain uh, but uh, what I've noticed with stem cell research as far as a mother is that is becoming more of a, of a family topic to be discussed. As I was doing research I found that people of color also have a slim chance of you know getting that one-on-one -on -one match that you need. If you store your own stem cells for later use they can potentially save your life because they are your DNA. Sometimes people that do delayed cord clamping um, may need a little bit more information to understand that if you bank the cord blood you can use it more strategically. You can use it at a time when it's needed. Understandable, it may still be of a benefit to a baby, but ultimately having that cord blood banked is uh, definitely something better for peace of mind later on in life. You never know when you're gonna need it and it'll be there. I know we think about like setting up, you know, insurance plans and things like that for our children. It's like this is in, in a sense an insurance plan for their health. I wish I would have known about it back then, of course, before I had my daughter, which was over a year ago, so. If I had another baby, I would definitely bank. Really, it's a duty as a parent to do this for a child. It's really simple when you look at it, and it's a, to me, it's the only way to go, because we have the capability to do it, so why wouldn't we?